Uh, Neely's Bar is home Here to go. my very favorite yep. text icon in anything. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Well, my 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 favorite is the doghouse. Yeah, this is uh, this is great. This is never explained ever. Uh, depending on how much you want to believe they were thinking ahead, this could imply that this had a Silent Hill four hole. Yeah, there's no. But I don't think so. I think no. it's just just creepy. Or or like maybe it was used for something that like that was left over and there was actually a different texture maybe. or something. There's there could be a million reasons. Could be a million reasons, but. As far as atmosphere goes, that shit kicks it's, ass. It's dire. It's a dire saying, regardless. They've had some usage before. And now we're at Happy Burger. Yeah. Yeah, Happy Burger. Can't go into Happy Burger. So I love the idea of a place called Happy Burger within Silent Hill. Oh, it's Because the it's the best, like, most contrasting thing ever. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, look, there's the Puppy and Fireworks store. I, dude, I would love to go to a Puppy and Fireworks <laughs> store. But... I don't think Silent Hill would have that chain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. So, running down Soul Street, trying to find that special thing. Here we are. Just the Kid Rock trailer. Yeah, it's the Kid Rock trailer. Kid Rock would go to Silent Hill. Durst. The Durst figure. So, this is one of the things I really like. RE2 did this, but Silent Hill 2 takes it to a new extreme, in which they don't shine a lot of items, but they do have James they, look at them. Yeah, okay. Like his, his head tracks them slightly. So, this is a new game plus weapon. Uh, it's called the Hyperspray. Hyperspray? Uh, depending on your ranking, you get various different kinds of Hyperspray. Mm-hmm. The best ranking gets you the best Hyperspray. Uh, the, the baseline Hyperspray that I have here is damaging to myself as well. So we're oh, never going to oh, use oh, it. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, mm. So if you end up here, you also get a, a memo say go to Neely's. Which helps out, even though you were just yeah. there. I we're suppose. Gonna, we're going to save this game, and then we're going to head over. Get your weird creepy face. To the Blue Creek Park. So you mentioned you mentioned Troy Baker yeah. before. So he played James in he the HD James, collection? He plays James in the HD collection. Now that sucks, because... So is that, like, a good voice actor that, that is really good at emoting, does that... Ruin it? Uh, well, part of the reason... He's a great voice actor. Part of the reason that it ruins it is that they were not under the voice direction of the original cast. Of course not. Uh, they're, they, they're under... The uh, voice direction for this game went so far as to model the characters after the voice actors. Mm-hmm. So changing those actors is kind of egregious. Yeah, when that was the original uh, And idea. in addition, due to some kind of production error, uh, if you listen really closely, you'll find out that they are very literally dubbing over the old soundtrack, and you can still hear the old lines are you serious? underneath it. Are you, I, didn't, I don't remember that at all. Well, I didn't play it, but I don't remember that in the list of like super yeah. giant errors. I'm not sure if it's HD just on the Hill 3. But I think it's in both that you can actually hear the old track underneath. I'm always confused about this. In the HD collection, I know that one or both games you can switch to the old voice actor. Silent Hill 2, you can. Silent Hill, Hill 3, 3, you cannot. Why? What? Or do I have that backwards? I think it was Silent Hill 2. I think That's... Silent Hill 2 because, yes, I remember, because Guy Sihi got all the voice actors to agree at the last second to waive their rights to the royalties because Konami wouldn't pay them. Uh, and they, so yeah, this door opens up into nightmares, but not now. Mm. And the other thing about, like, the new voice acting is that even if it's good or bad, like, in the HD version, it leaves such a sour taste in your mouth, just the idea that Konami just fucks over their voice actors for no real reason. Yeah, and in addition, like, even if the new voice acting was great, it's like... Having recognizable actors in a game like this actually really, really takes away. After the fact. Too. Yeah. Like, it would be. Like, Laura Bailey and Troy Baker and all those guys, they and uh, 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 Liam O'Brien, it's, like, it's the fucking Persona cast. Yeah. Uh, they do great work, but, like, I know you. I'd rather it be, like, a brand new game or, like, a full on remake, because that makes, you know, that part, makes part, of, sense. part of the draw of this series, and you're going to notice it as we keep going farther and farther, it's tough to tell what time period this game takes place in. Yeah. Because Happy Burger. It's, re- then it's really difficult to figure out is. what time period. And it feels, and it's supposed to feel like an unknown horror game, an unknown horror movie. Yeah, n- nothing specific. With unknown actors mm-hmm. that came out, that you found underneath your couch. Right. <laughs> Just hiding there. Right? Yeah. And, uh, you know. So this, this part is, to me, probably the scariest point in the entire game. Because hmm. this apartment is not well lit. And as you can tell, 
I do not have a flashlight. No, you do not. And I don't like that very much. So let's go to the second floor. And start exploring this fucking creepy-ass apartment. It's like apartments are so... It's an everyday place that tons of people know, but it's so easy to make it creepy. So easy. So... Like, Wooly's place is creepy. Wooly's place is fucking creepy. <laughs> so a detail that I really like, I'm going to check my map here. Great. Right? And Perfect. I can, I can go in, look at 202, 201. But if I walk a little bit farther out into the dark-ass hallway... Can't read the map. Yeah, but you, you can't read the map if you don't have a light source, right? Which is great. It's it's awesome. It only really takes place in this area because this is the only part in the game it's in which you dark. don't have a flashlight. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because otherwise you could just point your flashlight. Can't read the shit. All right. It's getting staticky. I'm gonna get you. Whoever's oh, out there. Oh, you, we'll look! Look at that framing. Look at the, how good that is. It's pretty good. It's like really far away, but. And I don't like the noise that it's making. So here we have a trash chute just packed with garbage. It's packed in there. There's some kind of strange garbage in the hole. <laughs> As opposed to that normal garbage. As opposed to that normal garbage. To. So I'm going to try and clear this this area out of this guy first before I start exploring. So you just a combo. I'm going to get a little bit of a sick combo here. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh-oh. There we go. Bam! I really appreciate the decision to make in-depth combat in Homecoming. That was awesome. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it great? No, keep keep it green sarcastically. Oh. We're so not th done. This was back in the day when people were intentionally making bad combat. Like, really bad combat. Nah. Like, you can tell. I don't think it's intentionally. No, Silent Hill 1 has intentionally bad combat. <laughs> why would anyone make... Why would anyone actually design it that way? Well, I, I must... Why not make no combat? I'm then? misspeaking slightly. Okay. Uh, so it's not that they mean? made it bad. They made it clunky on purpose. Mm, okay. uh, because Harry is not a Superman. He shouldn't know how to use a, a, a knife to kill somebody. He should know how to fire a gun. So, but no, but when you're Alex whatever the hell... From homecoming, then you have to be a cool combat guy because yeah, you're, you're a in the soldier. army. Yeah, that's stupid. Like in the army, they don't teach you how to swing like a piece of wood well. I mean, anyone can really do. that. And also, right? when you get to the end of homecoming and you find out he's not a soldier, that entire justification oh, breaks apart. Of course, forgot. I really like this scene because look, you get this nice little dress. You get a flashlight. Put it on. That's, that's shining a bright beam of light, light in your right face. In face yeah. It's like, dude, get real. And if you take the time to examine Mary's photograph, you will notice... It's the same dress. It's the same dress. Mm. So it's Mary is just staring at you. Just going, dude, look at yourself. Oh. And as you do that... And then the, the, the mannequin starts... Uh, a slimy, leg-based, sexy thing wakes up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you. you go. Oh, you guys are tough, oh, aren't you? Yeah. Well, it's made, out of, it's made out of the toughest material alive, mannequin limbs. You guys are creepy. Yeah. Ugh. God, just thinking about the enemies in, in Downcoming makes me super angry. Yeah. How all of them were terrible. So some of the stuff that I said for the lying figure clearly appear appeals to the yes, to the mannequin. Especially uh, since they're not they're they have to be sexy lady legs. Le too. Less sec less less sickness, more sex. Yeah. Basically. Just dial down the sickness and turn up the sex dial. You need to turn up the sex. It's Silent Hill enemies. Yeah, that's how it used to be. I'm I'm kind of bummed that those weren't uh, in any of like well I barely remember the second movie but I I think those mannequin things are fucking radical and it kind of sucks that they weren't in the movie at all. There is in the second movie there is the implication of a similar type implication. Yeah, of a similar type of enemy. Okay, um, well I don't care. Uh, it's the mannequin. It's not monster. about the movies. It's least. the mannequin monster in the second one. That, it's it's a it's a bit of an homage. It's I the, thought you didn't watch the second movie. I recently watched it. Oh shit! I recently watched. How'd you this. how'd you think of what'd you think of that? It's a fucking train wreck, dude. It's the worst. It's a fucking absolute. Train I wreck. watched it the one time too, and that was just like this is the f this is one of the greatest drop offs of quality, and not like the first. Final movie. one by Christoph Gans is okay. It's no classic, but it's fine. It's got some serious problems, but it's okay, I guess. But that second one is a fucking mess. Yeah. Why is everyone speaking in their British accents? What, why is why is Pyramid? Oh, hit! Oh, he's here because oh, 
the movie was like because we need a recognizable he's popular we need a recognizable villain. why is Jon Snow in it why he's <laughs> hot right <laughs> what's this this is Henry Mildred Scott it's a pun mm. uh, we're gonna have to come back here because this Some clock stuff needs the clock, to be right? moved yeah okay the scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time I could try and push this clock but you're too much of a weak baby man. Too weak. No matter how hard I push, it stays stuck to the ground. And I could theoretically move those hands, but the faceplate is closed. Mm. Now, James, you could just smash it. You have a stick. You have a stick. You can smash it easily and not even hurt yourself. But our pal James here will choose not to smash it. Yeah, no, he's making that, that decision independently of us. Wow, I just realized how fucking fast you run. You run pretty fast, man. I mean, the hallways are also like... Oh, you want more? No, this this is a different guy. Yeah. Or a condiman. Yeah. I call them condiments. <laughs> Condimentsmans. Anyway. I fucking hate the line figures. I, I remember one of the briefs for the enemies in the movie was make them look fake. Yeah. Which is probably the coolest thing ever. They're not supposed to look like they belong. Yeah, they look like it was made somewhere because that's awesome. All right, come and on. It makes it way creepier. Oh, there you are. Oh, God. That was a swing and a miss. Totally missed. So they appear to have to stop dead center to, yeah, to use their spin attack. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, missed. he's working out. Whoa. So, so oh, that, that's cool. So that twisting shit has... Uh, Two purposes. Yeah. One, uh, three actually. Uh, oh my god, get back here. Oh my god. Oh, oh. So for one, it's he's go. He's literally going. Nuts. It's supposed to look like the uh, death effect for or the scare effect from, from Jacob's, Jacob's ladder. ladder. Yeah. Clearly. It's gotta be. Gotcha. Nope. Oh wow, he hit me. Come on, guy, you're, go. you're dragging down this LP. A little you bit. damn enemy. Jeez, look at him go. What is this? Handgun bullets. If I had oh, a handgun, no handgun maybe this useful. would be useful. Where the fuck did he go? You know, oh, man. Holy shit. Uh, he's not bothering you. He's even look at, yeah, but I, I don't know what else is in here, so I need to... Uh, oh my god, this is so goofy. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's blind you. How? No, he's just really fast. No! Okay, no. He's, he's stuck in a river. Oh, no! Uh oh They love, dude! Oh, my God. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. These sexy lady legs. Oh, so man. So hot. I'm gonna get you. Okay. I hope it starts not doing the same thing. Then you're gonna have a fucking road race between these two. Why can't I stomp on him? Because it? the combat's bad, you said. Yeah, I used to be able to stomp on him okay. Uh, at least it's not the stomp from Little Rose. At painful. least it's not the stomp from Little Rose. Always remember that. Always. <laughs> so, do you guys have anything else in here? The entire game, you stomp someone once. Once. Uh, I think the mannequin got that. Newspaper on the ground. There's nothing interesting. Ah, oh, Jesus. The Kanoni, Calvin, and Hobbes is... Get out of here, you fucking mannequin freakazoid. Please go away. Whoa! Whoa! I've never seen that in all my time and all my years at this in game. All, in all your decades of playing this, never ever have I seen anything like that. Yeah, try and get Jeez. away from me here. He's gonna find a way. He really doesn't want to get hit by your by your whacking stick. And he's hitting me. Wow! He's hitting her. He's gonna hit you. Weird. Anything in here? Nothing, Nothing to do, do here. Well, you could be, but... Eh. And anything in... Wow. Wow, look at him go. I got handgun bullets. Okay, good to know. Holy shit. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Is the mannequin still alive? Whoa! Yeah. Or it might be a different one. This is a bad room. Finish him! Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Was there any purpose of going in there? I got handgun bullets. I am, yeah, sure. And I, I should top up my health. Uh, before I do that, I was going to say, how do you know? How do you, how, how do you so know? So status, green is good. 
What do you mean? Where's the green? So you see status. There's a, a look at the screen. Yeah. It's flickering and it's normal colored. Okay. Okay. That's mid health. Mm. Green is good. Red is bad. Flickering is bad. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, in there, addition, in addition, this game uh, will calculate your ending based on how you treat your character. So, uh, depending if I heal right away, how often I check Mary's envelope. How often I look at a picture of Mary. Oh, Stuff okay. like that is what determines the ending. So that's probably kind of like some of the inspiration for uh, Shadow Memories. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, came, but I don't came think from this stuff. I don't think it used it for your stuff in your inventory. It used it for everything else. Yeah. That's so weird. I can't get the stomp to work. There we go. Stomp or that? Well, either or, really. Yeah, either or will do. Just fucking beat you Just to death. Just die. Just die, please. A stick can't kill a mannequin unless gotcha. you die. There you go. A stick can't kill a mannequin unless you die? Yeah. That's a new one. It's not. It's bad. All right. We're done with this floor. I said a bad thing. You know, we all say bad it things didn't sometimes. It make any sense. So, I was trying to say it earlier, but I got flipped Side up. Sidetracked by that down. fucking craziness. It's supposed to look like... Um, the Jacob's Ladder uh, scare effect. Yes. It's also supposed to look like someone going through their death throes as they die in a hospital bed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which feeds into the whole... Your Terminal wife illness. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Wife thing. Okay. I forget what the third one was. What was the... You say like terminals, and I just think about what the, the boss of of downcoming was the guy in the the wheelchair and all the and all the tubes in him and shit. But he had nothing to do with anyway. What's his face, Morphe? You hear that? Weird noises. Weird noises indeed. Well, we have to continue on. But there you go. Just moving rusty shit on the floor. The game. That's Silent Hill, all right. Hey, a key. Can't get that key. So you might remember this from Homecoming. A scene very similar to this. Mm, yeah. Where you try you... and reach a key on the other side of some bars. Yeah, all right, I remember. Mm. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait! Damn it. I thought we were done with shit, kids. I thought we were done with shit, kids. So I can't get that despite the fact that I have a stick in yeah, my hand. Yeah, don't use that. Uh, yeah. It's too bulky. Too bulky. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's not a whole lot up here. Uh, but yeah, that, that girl... First, uh, so that girl's name is Laura. We'll learn that later. But... She is voiced by an actual child. Yeah, and you, you mentioned it. And that's a big Rose. fucking deal. It that's is. a big fucking deal. That you have your kids... Voiced by kids. If you get good kid actors. Yeah, but it's hard to do that. Because kid kids. actors are terrible. Yeah. I love this room. This is the room in which you find the gun. Yeah, because it's in a shop. And there car. are just gu- there are just bullets everywhere in all the walls. Now I like that the gun is in a shopping cart. I almost feel that that's like a thing. Yeah. You know. It's a yeah. shopping cart. What's that doing here? Pick up the gun, Pick James. up the gun. Handgun. I've got a handgun. All right. Now, we will be able to do a little bit better. Now this is turning into the shooting game it was always born to be. Well, <laughs> enemies don't take very many bullets to get killed. Yeah, okay. They they, they die relatively easily. The shoot bang it was always designed to, to be. All right, so we've cleared out everything. So... So shoot the key into your own hand. Uh, I'm going to head back down to the ground floor. Save the game, and then I guess we're gonna have to give this another once over. What the entire apartment? The entire building? apartment building. Oh, there's not a closer save point. Oh, there's a cl- there's a save point just at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like outside. No, no, no. I was like, yeah, wasn't there a red uh, right envelope? Here? Oh, what's this? What are you looking at, James? He's looking at some. Ah, health drink. I missed it. Just chug it. Luckily, due to James's eyeballs, <laughs> I was able to pick They're it up. Useful. There, it's really useful. I really like that solution. Like, the character looks at shit. And every now and then they'll make something shiny. Because if it's like, no, you really, you, you, can't you miss this. really need this. Mm. But uh, usually, it's just nice and subtle. No HUD? Yeah, that, no, that you always know, helps out. 
Just nothing. That always helps out in in maintaining the atmosphere. Maintaining your atmosphere. No HUD. Clean, neutral, loading screen. I mean, like, in in Resident Evil, they also had no HUD. But when you switch over to 4, you're going to get hit all the fucking time. What was that? Some kind of noise from north of here. Hmm. I guess you should go north. I guess I should go north. So, are you... Statics times... What the fuck? Here we go. Holy shit. Here we go. And look, that's my favorite part. Yeah, it's... it's when you see that he's clearly emitting his own light. Yeah, yeah, Is this the... Hmm. This is the room with the, the puzzle from right. earlier. Okay. And as you can see, it's slightly different. Yeah. This is... So, I'm not... Before I click on it, I'm going to try and get... A, yeah, you're right. His hair... That, that his is, hair texture is exactly... That is, that is James's character model. Uh. And he has uh, been shot or murdered watching television. Ah, uh, tough way to go. Very clearly, James is just covered in blood. Who, but, but he never notices. Who could have done this? Ah. He never goes, oh, it looks like me. It's the key to room 202. Good. Key means progress. Room 202. Down here. So let's get going. So oh, as uh, I hope uh, people aren't too upset over my u my decision to use the, the, the three times bullet adjust thing. And... Oh, by the way, you notice that... Uh, He's gone. He's gone. And but as you can around. tell from that wonderful melee combat that we had earlier, uh, there's a reason. Yeah, no, there's the... I mean, it'd be cool the to have, like... The a, combat was weak in this game when it came out. Yeah, because remember it, when it came out, people were like, oh, I don't know about this combat. But like, the, the rest of it, oh my god. Yeah, no, of course, but... All right, what's in room 202? I hope something... Nothing. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we got bird cages. The bird cage. That's a different tone altogether. Yeah. And we have this glowing bullshit that uh, comes from nowhere. <laughs> it's just an evil kitchenette. What do we got? Evil breakfast nook. And now we're starting to see like some chain link stuff. And uh, there's bugs or something floating around. There are. There are moths uh, I'm floating all around me. Moths, moths like, and butterflies. It's like the one bug where I have no patience for it. Get really? out of my house. You have no patience for moths? No. Why? Eh, I think ever since RE2, this moths is gross. Well, there's a big moth motif going on here. Yeah. So, let's point... So, remember when I said that James jumps to dumb conclusions? A lot. So, this, this is one of those times. Shove your face in there. Now, uh, that vibrates quite strongly uh, when that happens. It's actually really nice. And it's vibrating quite strongly now. That ah, turned out fine. Okay, the clock key was all the way fucking there, sure. Yep. And there's just, there's literally a little bio slime on the walls there. It's a little, little, little bit of bio slime. Yeah. So, so now that we have a clock key, we can continue forward. So jumping by to stupid conclusions by just saying shoving your arms and things. Shoving your arms and shit. What did we play? Oh yeah, it was a fucking uh, Bug Island where you had to shove your arm into that like green pot, like green thing of goo or whatever. That's right. And it was fucking gross. Shove your arm into the goo. I mean, I get it. It you know that's what you need to do to progress in the game. It's what has to be done. Uh, I was gonna ask earlier, but he just goes. Yeah, uh, it can't actually be Mary, but whatever. I'm gonna go check anyway. Yeah. Because it's, it's a weak reason to do it, but at the end of the day, you can just say, well, he goes, someone's fucking with me. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I had to I had to get up uh, and get some lozenges. Lozenges. Because I'm quite ill. Yeah, your throat took a beating the other night. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> oh, where's uh, where's my stuff? Oh, hold on a second. It's all over the place. It's all over the stuff. Uh, uh, no, so the reason for that is basically... Say, let's get dark. Mm. 
Say your fiance gets hit by a car tomorrow no, and dies. Don't say that. Right? Sure. Then two weeks later, you get a letter from her. Yeah, yeah. Saying I'm totally fine. Come to, come to Laval. <laughs> Babe, that's asking a lot. I don't really want to go to Laval, but sure. Even as much of a rational guy, there's part of you yeah, yeah, yeah. that would think about it. No, and but no one would think, oh, it's my loved one. They but they would think something's up. Well, Someone's messing James with me. clearly can't get over the death of his yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes so. Sense. He's out here. Or maybe it's just a post-dated uh, letter. That's uh, too personal. Yeah, maybe. So I've used the clock key. Clock key puzzle is now available. It's now it's now, now available to be solved. Now, since we're on normal, this puzzle is actually quite simple. Mm -hmm. But let's see if I can remember how to do it. Okay. So we have three positions on the clock. Henry Mildred Scott. What do you think that stands for in clock time? Uh, uh, Henry Mildred Scott? Yeah. Uh, Sundown Midday? No, just, cu just cut it down to their first letters. HMS? It's hours, minutes, seconds. Seconds. Uh, so that's like, what, 10... 10... I'd say maybe 9.30. 10, 2, 3 or something. So like, yeah, 9.15, 9.30-ish. So, let's rotate this clock a little bit. Just a little bit. That's definitely more... Because S is on 15 anyway. Yeah. That's definitely more subtle than, say, a puzzle in Eternal Darkness that just goes 333 all the time. Or whatever. What time is it? 319? I don't remember. But it was the time that would always show in every digital clock and the pretty much every other puzzle there on that had to do with time. You just put that number in anything. Oh, well, that's weird. Huh. What time is it supposed to be? I it's thought for sure it was going to be like 10, 10. Tailing puzzle time? I think it is, Matt. Try 9.30. I'm going to try 9.30. Ah! I had it right. I just did did it too fast. Oh, and you, had to you're stop too on good. Because as you go over it, just a little bit. So what? It was like 10.08? Yeah. 9.08? It's 10.08. 10.09, uh, 9.08, yeah, 15. Yeah, all right, sure. So now that I've done that, the nail has retracted. Okay, so I we were playing what recently? Uh, we were talking about Resident Evil, and like, yeah, okay, Spencer's nuts, and he has all these crazy clandestine espionage shit in his thing because he likes that. But what is the justification for a puzzle to be constructed in uh, Silent Hill? In Silent Hill, magic. Just okay. Silent Hill gets a free pass because magic. Because it's magic. magic. Okay. All right. Well, you know. Okay. Yeah. I can't, it's not I, much more of a free can't, pass that you can you get can't than really that. Say anything about it. It's it's supernatural in in its in its base. Okay, and more health drinkies and a save and point. A save, yeah, they're very aggressive about save points in Silent Hill too. It's something I really really enjoy because if we fuck up, then it'll be easy to go back. Hey, if kids are playing this in the future and they fuck up, they have all these save points. I don't know why the Japanese developers sound like 1930s gangsters. I'm also not quite sure. Ah, yes. 